So the, the next part is, um, let me just make sure I haven't gone too far ahead. I think I'm on the right screen. Yeah. So we're going to talk about how to run the reports, right? So now that you run the scripts, we've got to go back and we've got to run, you know, run the individual reports. So the reports are really cool, and it's really the power behind it all. So we're going to go, uh, let me go back to my screen here, and uh, let's go back to Kaseya. So you're going to go over to the um, eight, to Info Center, right? Click on the top, go to Info Center, go to Reports, and again, under the VA Shared, um, there should be a section called Audit Reports, and you have a list of reports. Okay. Now, again, some of you, if you don't have all these reports here, don't panic. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to import and export them for you. But it, these reports are not rocket science, okay? The hard work has already been done by the scripts. The reports are actually just um, reading a particular um, tag. Now, I'm going to talk about the tags first, and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you how to actually you know, create your own report in case you need to do them. So you're going to go and you're going to run this report. So we have a report that talks about outdated third-party applications. We have a report that's a, a complete uh, third-party audit, and then we have audit reports for the individual pieces that you that you ran the scripts for. Okay? We don't have like a big five report because you would use these. So the idea here is two things. When you run the when you run the report, do you want to just have a complete audit of everything that's on the machine, whether it's up to date or not up to date, just you know informational? That would be the third party apps audit. Okay? That would give you basically the complete audit. And that's going to look like this. Okay, this is a big five um, audit. Okay, uh, or is this a full? I apologize. This is a full audit. So what you're going to do when you see this report, you're going to run this, and it's going to list it. Um, uh, we blocked the machines out here for for security. Basically, we ran this on one of our clients. So um, you're going to have the mach each machine is going to be listed, and it's going to come up, and it's going to tell you what's going on on each one of those. Um, scripts that were run, I mean, each individual thing. So the WMI antivirus script is telling us that we have AVG 9.0 and it's up to date. Now, what you're going to see is these tags. You see all these tags that we have here? Audit, Java, and something called OOD. And that is the key to everything. When we write it to the script log entry, we write these tags out. Okay, Chase has gone in there and he's basically put these tags on every single place that we need to write. So what we can do is we use those tags to generate the report. And I'm going to show you how to create your own report um, in, in, a, in a little bit. So what we're doing here is you can see is we are displaying log entries that match the tag called dollar sign audit dollar sign. That is giving you a list of everything. I could have run a report that said just show me the Javas. I could have done, sent, done a report that says show me just out of date as I'm going to show you this other report or I can combine, start combining these things together. So we can really narrow down very specific reports. So in this particular client here, um, this one, you know, you can see that we've done an audit and we found four different versions of Java. Um, uh, Silverlight in this case is, is showing out of date. Uh, it does not need a defrag. It did find check disk errors on the drive. There's no Firefox installed. No QuickTime installed. Now, this is something that you'll see from time to time, unable to determine version. Okay? What that means is that despite our best efforts of, of engineering this thing, we have found times where, they're just, where something is supposed to be written, it just ain't written. And it you know, drives us crazy, so we finally started putting little variables in there just to say, look, we just weren't able to figure it out for whatever reason. So you may have to go another step and, and determine if, if it was actually installed. Um, Adobe Reader is 9.34, we're at 10.001. So we tell you what's installed and what the current version is. These versions are updated, you know, as part of our system. So, you know, that basically it's uh, the same script just keeps running and it pulls the correct versions in. So we basically, you know, this report just goes and lists it by each customer. And, you know, the idea is that now you can take this and either just review it yourselves to see if you have problems or what you might want to do 
is you may want to just um, run a report that is just for the out-of-date stuff. So what we did is we ran a report and we used the key called OOD, dollar sign, OOD, dollar sign. And this is showing us only things that are out of date. We're ignoring the stuff that's okay. We, don't, we, we know the antivirus is okay, so we didn't list it there. We're just showing stuff that's out of date. Now, there's something uh, in here I just want to point out to you guys, and I've been on, a fe on the fence as to um, you know, which way to go with it, and, and you guys can give me feedback, or maybe we can, well, we can't really do it both ways. But the idea is that if Firefox is not installed, and you've done an audit for Firefox, is that considered out of date, or is it, should we just ignore it? And and that's that's sort of what you know we've been on the fence on that, but we we've been reporting it as out of date because you audited it. We want to tell you it's not there. So that, you know if it's not there, you probably are just going to ignore it and, and not install it. But if these things become your standards that you want on all your customers' machines, then you can uh, you can go ahead and, and it'll show up here. So that'll that'll be good. Okay. So this is, this is basically the out-of-date report. So it's showing on, on this client all the things that it found that were either, in this case, missing or were out-of-date. And again, this is a PDF. You could you generate in Excel. You could, uh, well, the reports are generated as PDFs, but you could obviously customize them or, or change them to report on as Excel or as um, HTML. So um, Anyway, so you know, audit Java and, and out of date. So the keys are basically the, the audit key, the, the key that inc that is for the actual um, application that we're testing for, you know, Java, Reader, um, AV Info for the antivirus, different things. So uh, you'll, you'll see the keys. The keys are actually uh, you can you can see what's going on in the script. You can look at the keys in the script and see what we you know what we use. But again, in these samples, all right. Um, let's see if there's another, I have one other report, I think this is, this is the big five report, so this is just the, the five things that is showing again, showing, uh, you know, different versions of, of Java on the machine. Okay, all right, so um, enough of that. So let me show you how to create a report, okay, in case you don't have these reports in the system. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to, you know, my reports, and you're going to create a new report. And this is basically a, a log report, and it is a, um, it's not a script log, it's an agent procedure log now. This is version 6. We don't call them script logs anymore. Agent procedure log, next. And then we're going to give it a name, so we're just going to call this uh, test application, um, whatever, you know. And, and what I usually do is take this and copy it down, and you could put, like, results here. And we can t take that and copy it down, and I put it here as well. Here's where you pick PDF, HTML, Excel. You choose. Um, you may want to suppress the header footer if you're on the K2 system, because then the Kaseo logo won't appear. If you're on the SAS platform, then your logo will appear, and you can uncheck that box. But um, let's say we want to suppress it here. And then we're going to go to Report Parameters. And this is where the hard work is done. And it's actually so easy, um, it's not, not really hard. All you need to do is go down to this last box, show the entries matching the file descriptions, and put in here what you're looking for. So if I want to look at um, the Java, all I would do is put in Java dollar sign asterisk. Okay? You just need to have the right key. And again, if you don't know what the key is, go back and look at the script and just open it up and look at some of the values and you'll see the key appear in there. Now, okay, so this is looking for the Java dollar sign. So what it's going to do is it's going to show any log entry that includes Java. If you want to get the complete list, which would be like the third-party apps, you would put dollar sign audit, okay? Because that everybody has an audit. And then if you want the, just the ones that are out of date, you would put the dollar sign o o oops, sorry dollar sign o o d dollar sign. Okay, that's the out of date. That's all you're doing. Now, you can tell it how many days to go back. Now, here's the problem. If you run this script multiple times within that three-day period, you're going to get duplicate entries. It can't, it can't determine. So you're going to need to run it once. And then if you do remediation and you update it, you're going to need to wait a day. You might want to go in and change that and make it just one day back or two days back so it doesn't pick up the other data. Okay, so just don't run those. Don't run the scripts 
too repetitively. You can't run them more than once on the machine within a day period. Otherwise, the report's going to be filled with dub double entries. Uh, nothing I can do about that. We can't specify a specific day or, or uh, you know, the last six hours or one hour. It's it's only by day. So one day, two day, three day, uh, etc. Okay. And uh, literally, guys, that's all it is. You know, you say you save that, and then that becomes uh, a report under your My Reports. And then you can use it from there. And of course, if you have other people using the system, you can create your own shared folder and you can move it down to the shared folder. Okay. So feel free to create. If you if you need help, we can help you with them. But I mean, I think you you guys can all do this. Just if you don't have these reports in your system right now, when you look at it, feel free to just go and create them. Um, and you probably don't need to create all of them because you're honestly you're probably not going to run just an Apple QuickTime audit. It's going to be part of a bigger audit. My gut feeling is you're probably going to run, you're going to create the top one and the second one, the outdated one and the full audit, and that may be all. And you'll just use those to, to run when you want to, whenever you run an audit. If you only schedule the Adobe audit and then you run the third-party app audit, guess what? Only the Adobe, app, Adobe script is going to show up. You're only going to have one entry in there. So these are just really, if you really needed to, you know, nitpick at a particular uh, particular application.